All right, you guys, so we are out on the court today and I'm gonna teach you a couple drills that will improve your forehand topspin drive. Now, if you don't come from a racket sport background, this is gonna be very helpful for you because a lot of these are foundational techniques that you don't really learn unless you've played a racket or swing sport before. So just be sure to try these drills out and really learn those swing mechanics because that will help you really generate a lot more power on the shot and hopefully help you feel less lost as you're trying to figure out how to hit these shots, not having a lot of these techniques before. So the first drill is really going to be helping you get power on these shots. I remember people would tell me all the time, your power comes from the ground up. And I remember being so frustrated because I'm like, dude, that is so cryptic. I don't know what that means. And so naturally I kind of thought, well, I guess I'm just gonna like run into the shots. Don't do that. Let me just save you some time. Do not run through your shots. <laughs> that is not a good way to hit a consistent shot. So what I later on learned is that when people say the power comes from the ground up, it means it has to do with your footwork and more actually importantly, your weight transfer. So weight transfer is really your weight transferring from your back foot to your front foot. And again, like I said, I thought that meant running through shots. That's not what it means. It actually means your hip transferring weight from your back to your front foot. That's what engages your core to help you in these shots. This is foundational for the serve, for the return, for the drive. Once you get this, you'll understand, whoa, look, I can actually hit a really powerful shot um, when I have my whole body involved. So this first drill is really gonna help you with weight transfer. All right, you guys, to start off this drill, I have these two cones right here. It doesn't really matter where you do this. If this is gonna hurt your knees, I would do like even a folded up t-shirt or something to help give you some cushion. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your knees of your forehand side down on this cone and you're gonna have this other leg out. And what you're gonna practice doing is pretend like you're catching an invisible ball. I want you to unit turn, so move your elbows, core all together and you're gonna load this back leg, this kneeling leg, and you're gonna push through. So load, push through, load, push through. And I want you to just really practice loading this hip, coiling and uncoil. Now you can do this a lot of different ways. You can do this at the gym, actually having a partner toss you a ball, but if you don't have a partner, even just working this movement right here, getting really used to that coil, uncoil, load, unload is really gonna help teach you that weight transfer technique. So that's drill number one. Guys, so we've officially graduated from kneeling. Now it's really important in this next drill that you're still using that hip transfer where you load that back foot and come through the shot. But now we're gonna work on the swing mechanics, but standing and just kind of fine tuning that swing path. So here I want you to really focus on, again, bringing those arms, unit turning together, tip of the paddle touching the fence, opposite arm height at shoulder level. And you're gonna touch the fence and it's almost like I want you to draw a Nike sign. So you're gonna drop and have that paddle facing the ground and then pull up like you're drawing a Nike sign through the shot and above your shoulder. Again really explode that hip through that shot, even in this drill. So again, practice break, touching that tip of the paddle, drop, Nike sign, okay? So I would just keep practicing this until you feel like you get it down, and once you have, then I would move on to the next drill progression. All right, you guys, this next drill is going to help you with your follow through. So just a reminder, you're gonna wanna go ahead and start, load up that back foot, work on that Nike swish, pull through the shot, and your follow through is gonna have your handle pointing towards your target and your arm is up. I used to have a lot of trouble trying to do this. 
a lot of times my follow through would just end right here. I'm almost like stop my momentum. And especially if you're here at the baseline hitting a drive, you really need to make sure that your follow through comes all the way across your body. So this next drill is going to be like a self feed drill. I know that can be kind of tricky. So how it's gonna work, you're actually gonna put a pickleball in your armpit. I know that sounds weird. And then you're gonna grab the ball that you're gonna hit in your opposite hand. I want you to make sure that you load that back foot. Again, practicing that hip transfer. And I want you to unit turn together. You're gonna drop the ball and hit, go all the way through the follow through. And at your follow through, this pickleball should fall from your armpit, okay? So how it's gonna look is you're gonna go here and we're gonna go ahead and grab another one. Unit turn together. And making sure that I pull that follow through all the way across my body so that pickleball falls. This drill actually also really helps you understand proper strike zone. So where your paddle hits that ball, you really wanna aim for right about where your front knee is. That's kind of gonna be the sweet spot for the strike zone. You know, it was right about here where I realized that the audio on this clip was completely stripped. <laughs> So kind of bummed, but I want to talk you through this last drill just because I think this is such a great addition and kind of puts everything that we learned together. So let's talk about the cord setup. So you'll notice I have a cone here and there's actually one right here. You just can't see it because the camera cut it off. Then across from me, way on the other side of the net is my ball machine, the Pickleball Tutor Plus Ultra. This is by far the best ball machine I've ever used. I feel like the ball feed is actually really reliable. It can hold up to 110 balls, runs for three to four hours per charge. It comes with drills and a remote so you don't have to run back and forth. I mean, it's honestly amazing, especially if you don't have anyone to drill with on a consistent basis. I'm gonna link more info on this below, but for now, let's get back to the drill. Okay, so for this drill, you're gonna make sure that you reset by touching that cone, okay? Once you touch that cone, then you are able to run and go hit the drive. The whole point of this is you don't ever hit your drive without running to it and making sure that your feet are in the correct position. So this is what it kind of looks like. So as you can see, I just have the ball machine feeding straight ahead and I'm running around that cone to reset and then practicing everything we just did. So that weight transfer, moving my momentum forward, the swing path mechanics, and having my follow through all the way through my body. So it's a really great drill and you guys, it's exhausting. Like two buckets of this and I'm dead. So it's a great workout and a great way to get reps in. And I really like that it just puts everything together in one drill. So as you can see, this drill really forces you to use your feet. It's exhausting, it makes you run around, but I feel like it's pretty accurate in the sense of, you know, you're not just gonna be standing stationary when balls come your way to drive. A way that you can make this drill harder is you can set cones up on the opposite sides of the court and start aiming at targets. I'd really encourage doing that right away. Um, it's always important to have somewhere that you're aiming, um, but make sure that you guys try this progression of drills, especially if you are working on that forehand topspin drive. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions of other shots that you would like to see, and I will see you guys in the next video.